Hello and welcome again to my little uh, Yumiji tutorial series. My name is Doba Haller and today we want to create a game menu and an in-game menu widget. Um, and we will learn something about uh, level transition. So let's do some preparation here and first of all we want to add a new blueprint which is called the game instance. Uh, which is a game instance and we will call it my game instance okay uh, the purpose of a game instance is that it is per persistent over the whole game you're playing so when you hit the X uh, of your game and it is persistent until the moment you exit the game so every data inside there is persistent and next one we want to do is we want to create a new level which is a game menu level so this will be just blank so on and in here we want only uh, show our menu for example we can start the game we can load a game and we can exit or options uh, buttons or whatever Okay, back to our example map. Inside the blueprints and click on the main menu widget. I prepare I prepared uh, some main menu here. I simply added an overlay, a background image, and a vertical box with some buttons in it. And the space between is made through padding. I just uh, for left top right and button I set 30 padding units The next thing I did for that is um, I created a function which is called toggle visibility, which only uh, where we are able to toggle the visibility of this main menu widget. And I only check if it's currently visible. If yes, set it to hidden. If false, set it to visible. Okay, a menu is uh, hidden by default. And I have another button here, which is, one moment, collapsed by default. That would mean when I create a widget and do no other magic, um, this button is not visible here. So we can check that if we simply create a A main menu just create widget select main menu and return add to viewport bam bam after that we want to set a not set toggle visibility so that we can see something. Okay. Let's hit play and we are able to see those three buttons here. This widget I only want to see inside the game started map. So here. The problem the problem I have now is that the event begin play of our player controllers uh, every time fired when we load a new level. So when we hit the game menu, hit play, this is visible. 
So, and when we open a new level, let's just click that. It is still visible. We don't want that. Okay, for that we use player state. I created a new enum, which is called player state enum. Let's have a look. Simply two entries here, game started and in-game. The level we are loading is telling our game instance class in which player state the player currently is. So when I hit game menu, oh, wait, before. Okay, before we can use the player states, um, we need to set up a function for our my game instance and let's just call it um, uh, first of all it's a custom events and we say it is player state changed so every level level can notify our game instance that our current player state changed for that the game instance will hold an enumeration of our player states Suck. This is called current player state. And the input of our event would be the in player state. So what the level told us. So and then simply drag and set those here. Okay, so now our um, our levels can call on begin play. They will get the game instance. They will cast cast it to my game instance, and then call player state changed and for a game menu it would be the game started so check one more thing in the maps and modes here below you see the game instance class which the game will use and it is not the game instance but the my game instance so the same goes for the example map Can play, get instance, cast, and then say uh, player state changed. This time we want to tell it we are in the game. Okay, 